We are heading into the holiest time on the Jewish calendar, first Rosh Hashanah, next week followed by Yom Kippur. Combine that with a rise in anti-Semitism and a nonprofit says this is the perfect time for new thought-provoking billboards across San Diego. A rabbi attacked in a college area convenience store in July. Racist flyers recently distributed across the county. The Anti-Defamation League says anti-Semitic incidents in California jumped from 367 in 2021 to 518 in 2022. On the fringes of where our country is right now, the hate is very strong and it's very real and it's really, really dangerous. Archie Gottesman is co-founder of Jew Belong, the nonprofit that is putting up billboards and signs across the country with one major goal. Because it gets them thinking. It's like, why'd they put a billboard up about anti-Semitism? Well, because you haven't been thinking about anti-Semitism and it's growing in our country and it shouldn't be growing. And we're gonna, until people start talking about it, it's not gonna go away. Jew Belong actually started as a website seven years ago with no thought of fighting anti-Semitism. Instead, the goal was to provide friendly resources to people intimidated by Judaism. Maybe they didn't have a Jewish education, maybe they're not Jewish and they are married to somebody who is and just feels like they never got the secret handshake. Some of Jew Belong's San Diego billboards use humor to try to bring people back to Judaism, like this one on El Cajon Boulevard. So you eat bacon, God has other things to worry about or this one on Miramar Road Judaism come for your girlfriend stay for the lack of hell we're not everybody's cup of tea Archie says some rabbis like what she's doing others not so much but she's okay with that you're not my target audience like it's okay that you don't like it it's not you but but people Jews who get it think it's really funny and then they they go to the website and they're like oh this is actually something that really resonates with me Archie is hoping to put more billboards across San Diego, but as a nonprofit, she says funding will determine if that can happen and how long these ones will stay up. Steve Price, CBS 8.